All right, in this Commodore 64 video, we're gonna look at the back of your Commodore 64 and the ports and what they're for. Let's start off with the cartridge port. This is where you're gonna stick cartridges in. Um, you always stick them in the label side up, and sometimes it takes some force. Sometimes it takes two hands. You gotta hold this while you push this in, and it's gonna take two hands to remove it. So just know that as long as you have the label size facing up, it's pretty safe to push pretty hard. If it's upside down, you can get it in a little bit, but it's not going in all the way. Next, next to the cartridge port, we have this little switch. Do you know what this is for? That was your channel select from channel three, channel four. Remember the old come? Uh, remember the old Atari twenty six hundred? You could select what channel it was on. But this, and this port here was your TV video out. So these two would kind of go together. But the next one over is your monitor. So this doesn't matter where this is set because this cable here is going up to our monitor up here. It plugs in the back of our monitor right there. And that's a Commodore monitor, the uh, 1701. It's a pretty good monitor. I've been using that sucker for many, many years. Next to the video monitor, is a cereal port. Not the cereal like you eat for breakfast, but this thing, the main thing we use this for is it goes to your disk drives. And I got um, two, I got two sitting here, the 1541, 1541, two sitting right here. This one here is your cassette, where you plug in your cassette or your, your data, or I just call it the cassette player, the uh, data set. This thing here, I have a custom reset switch just plugged in here. But this was your user port. Mainly, I always think of the user port as where you plugged your modem into. Your 300 baud modem plugged right in here. I think some printers plugged in here too, but I never owned a printer uh, back in the day for the Commodore. But it's a great little port to plug in stuff like a reset switch. You pick these up for about $10. All right, that is the back side. Oh, we got a Jiffy DOS switch over here. And then just on this side, the two joysticks on and off and the power. So that is your Commodore 64 ports. What else could you put in that user port back there? And remember that we were looking at it backwards over here it is your user port, then your data, cassette, your serial port, your monitor, um, your TV, and your cartridges. So we're putting the cartridges, looking up this way, put them in like this, shove that sucker in, and that is the Commodore 64 ports. Please post any questions you have below for the Commodore 64, which is some quick little video there, so you can understand some of the ports of the Commodore 64. Um, post your comments, post your questions below. What else plugged into that user port back here besides your printer? Besides the printer, modem, a reset switch. I have like, ex even stuff like um, expanded memory. That, this plugs into the cartridge port too, so. Thanks for watching this quick little Commodore 64 video. Place is pretty messy, because I'm always testing cartridges and disk in this area. It's pretty confined. I'm like surrounded by. I'm just surrounded by Commodore 64 stuff. Yeah, it's pretty messy. Hey, someday when I retire, this is where I'll be. Right down in here. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And remember to subscribe. I appreciate your comments and your thumbs up. Appreciate everybody that subscribes. Thank you.